All right, here's the tutorial for the visual uh, journal. Um, you can see I have a big mess. So what I would do first is just gather any materials around your house. Go to your kitchen, go to your bathroom, garage, anything that you think you might can use. And it doesn't just have to be art supplies. I do have some art supplies that I had out. Um, I had some Mod Podge and watercolors, markers, any markers will do, some puff paint, um, tool paper because I used it in mine because, you know, it's one of the hot commodities right now. Eggshells, um, I use that in mine because it's one of the hot commodities that you can't find anywhere right now. And also like ramen noodles I used and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, glue, pens, markers, pencils, and if you don't have anything, like you can use um, like a, just a pencil or if I know Miss Bedford is doing um, her, she did a thing about the COVID virus and you could use her response and do quick doodles on it. Um, it doesn't have to have like a lot of like art. I mean, because writing is art in itself. Um, you can do this in like old books you have laying around or cardboard, just a plain piece of paper, a notebook. Um, I chose to use my sketchbook because I just have it here. So I was going to kind of show y'all what I did. So we ordered pizza the other day and on the Pizza Hut box it said fuel the madness. And it just, the madness kind of like popped in my head. And when I think of madness, I think of, um... The Mad Hatter. So I chose to do the Mad Hatter and I wanted to incorporate things that are impossible to find in stores because I feel like, am I the crazy one or has the world gone crazy with hoarding all this stuff? So, um, and this is like something I wanted to be able to look back at because I saw a post, someone saying that one day this is going to be history and you might want to look back at it like with your own kids. So um, I'm just going to kind of stick to the the coronavirus uh, journal entries, but you don't have to. You can just do how you feel or just something that randomly pops in your mind that you want to talk about. So um, I just wanted to point out a few things. This is a mixed media art. I use markers, watercolor, and then of course things that I found around the house. So here's the eggshells. I actually um, used glue to glue them on. I just like kind of spread it with a paintbrush or a popsicle stick, whatever you have laying around. And I just crushed it on there um, just to kind of add texture. And then also um, this is tool paper and I just use watercolor over it. You can use markers um, or you can just use regular tool paper without coloring it. And then I also used it down here and then, of course, I use the ramen noodles because, you know, those are hard to find, too, um, as his bow tie and just kind of, you know, added a few embellishments. Um, the hair is done with markers. And then I kind of just added um, the hot commodities, which meaning the things that are really hard to find that are, you know, pretty much are the toilet paper, ramen, Lysol, hand sanitizers, wipes, water, bleach, and eggs. Um, make sure in your visual journal you try to incorporate some kind of element of art. Um, in my particular one, I use texture because um, all these different materials create a texture. So if you're just someone that has a pencil, then you can add value. You know, just add one little doodle along with your writing. It doesn't have to be all art based. Um, you can, like I said, write. Um, also, another thing I chose to leave Mad Hatter faceless because um, for identity purposes, like I, you know, is it me that's gone mad or has the world gone mad? Um, I know I kind of jumped around on that, but I just wanted to kind of add to that. Um, the visual journal should be taking about um, one to three hours equivalent to what you would spend in my class. So please take the time to actually um, do this. And like I said, it doesn't have to be about the coronavirus or how you feel about it. Some people are probably tired of talking about it. 
it would just be cool, you know, to keep a journal about that so you can look back at it when it's in the history books one day. Um, if y'all have any questions on this assignment, just let me know.